In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure DNS failover in two minutes. I'm going to log into the web portal with my username and password. And on the main screen, I'm going to click on the Cloud DNS tab. And then I'm going to click on the Failover Pools sub tab. Within that section, I'm going to click to add a new pool. And I'm going to give this pool a name. I'm just going to call it Web Server Farm to keep things nice and simple. For the method, I'm going to choose sequential, which means it will use the servers in the order that I enter them. For the monitoring, I'm going to use a ping test. And I'm going to enable alerts to the IT staff list that I created earlier. I'm going to save that. And now that it's created that pool, I'm going to add a couple servers to it. We'll just call the first one Web Server 1, give it an IP address. I'm going to enable auto rejoin, which means that if the server has gone down and it's come back up, I want it to start using again. And I'm going to enable up and down alerts as well. And I'm going to do the same for my second server. I'm also going to enable rejoin and alerts for up and down. And now I've created my failover pool. And you'll see over on the far right, the status is polling. So it's checking to see if those servers are available right now. In the meantime, I'm going to go to the Domains tab, and I'm going to expand my domain, and click on the A records, and I'm going to edit the www record. And here you'll see that it's currently set to a static IP address, and now I'm going to change it to use the failover pool that I just created called Web Server Farm. I'm going to save that, and you'll see in the bottom row on the far left, it has no IP address configured, and on the far right, it's using the new failover pool that I just created. So if I go to the failover pool sub tab again and I click reload, my servers are starting to come online and you'll see that it's actually using the very first server that I created with a priority of one. And that's it. I've configured DNS failover.